statement goes, you know, I felt like um, as a team we battled hard. I, I thought until the beginning of the fourth quarter, you know, we were in there and had an opportunity uh, to win the ball game. Uh, we were able to hold them to a field goal there, and then um, Troy had a great return to start the fourth quarter and get us to midfield, and then on first down we got sacked and lost 15 yards through the interception on second down, and they went ahead and scored. And I felt like, you know, from there is a the game. Um, you know, we we struggled, and, and um, that that turned the tide right there at the beginning of the fourth quarter. But uh, you know, I thought, thought we competed hard, um, but uh, we need to learn to finish better. And, and obviously, you know, we have some things on on offense that uh, we need to continue to work at and, and uh, get straightened out. But uh, disappointed for the seniors. We would like uh, to send them out on a winning note. The last game at home, but the good thing is, is we've won six ball games, and we're gonna get a chance to, to play one more and, and uh, get people healthy and prepared, and, and we'll be excited for that opportunity uh, when we know where it is and, and when it comes. Tracy, how was Coach Gill? Good, good. He's resting, you know, he's, so he'll be fine. Have you seen him first year? Talk to him. Yeah, I, I have seen him, so so he's doing alright. Tracy, it's just it's the same thing. It's yes, sir. The same type of yes, sir. incident as last time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, I mean, as on, it's it's not a big deal, and, yeah. and so he'll he'll be fine. Well, were you surprised that uh, you weren't able to run the ball? Really good better first half than you did. Yeah, but you know they are the number one defense in the Big Ten, and I don't think that football team I don't think gets enough credit. You know they've lost a lot of a lot of close ball games and. And uh, had opportunity to beat all the good teams on our side, and so uh, you know a little bit of that has to do with them also, with with them uh, two years in a row now, and, and uh, they've been off. I think they've been the number one defense in the Big Ten now the last two years, and so uh, we knew it would be a challenge. But but obviously going each week, we we felt like we could move the ball a little bit better and, and control it just a little bit more. Did you did you feel like they were getting you on the line with, with Bell or with Bell? Was he doing that by himself, or he had some pretty good holes? Yeah, he did. You know, the first one we we didn't we didn't fit the gap right on the first one, and and uh, and then you know there towards the end, like I say, the momentum kind of changed, and we struggled getting him to the ground. It wasn't like there wasn't people there, and, and uh, he was pushing the pile. You know, and he's he's awfully good, and, and you know they they were in a situation where they had to win the ball game to uh, to keep their season going, and uh, and you could tell in the fourth quarter, you know the got a little blood in the water, and when they had the opportunity to see some moment, win the ball game, and and uh, they picked it up a notch. And so, uh, you know, credit goes out to them. But I thought, uh, like say, the fourth quarter for us to get the big return on them, uh, their defense stepped up and turned the tide of the game to for them to finish it. Crazy, uh, coach, coach in the second half? Yes, yes, sir. How was that? Being in charge? I've done it before, so it's, you know, you just move on and, and uh, you know, it's very organized. It's very structured. You know, uh, so uh, when something like this happens, everybody knows their job and, and what to do. And, and uh, I'm telling you, there's no panic in the staff and the kids or anything. I mean, we came out and, and played well. And so, uh, you know, I've I've uh, been with him a long time. And and, uh, and um, so uh, we just went about. And I don't think there's any too crucial decisions there, but. Like I say, uh, uh, just a disappointing way to end the game uh, for our uh, for our seniors. Why did you uh, make the decision to switch Nelson for uh, short tell in the, in the fourth quarter? Well, we just decided throwing the ball when it got to that that point where <coughs> the running part they were bringing a lot of blitzes, you know, at us, and so Max has has played against uh, that a lot more, and so uh, that's why we made the switch. What about the decision? To swap out Nelson and Gray pretty consistently. Yeah, it's all a game plan type of deal to try to control the football. You know, that's really what it's all about. And, and uh, you know, felt like uh, Q is, is getting healthier and, and able to run the ball a little bit better. And, and uh, so that was just to try to keep them off balance and, and just give them a, a steady change up. You know, I mean, I don't know, we, we, we've got injuries up front and we've got our problems and Hey, we're we're trying to find a way to to move the football here a little bit, and, and uh, 
felt like keeping them off balance with who would be a quarterback and, and putting Q in there would, would give us a way that would help us. 